welcome to my new tutorial series. Um, in this uh, series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to build uh, a small model house out of Popsicle sticks, and I'll do it step by step, and you can actually watch me do it. And um, so here we go. This is episode one, and I'm going to be showing you how to plan out the house, like how to do the drawings for it. Um, of course, this is optional. You could just start building it and just plan it out as you go. But if you want to actually plan it out first, um, I'm going to show you how to properly do that. But I'm also going to talk about um, the materials that you'll need here. The first thing that you're most definitely going to need is a box of popsicle sticks. Now, um, this right here, this right here I just bought at the store. I bought it at AC Moore, I believe. You could buy these online. Um, they're the Woodsy's brand. It really doesn't matter what brand you buy. Um, and there's a thousand in this box. This box was five dollars. And, um, so it's really not that expensive. I recommend buying them by the thousand. Also, you're going to need glue. Um, I would definitely recommend using hot glue and a hot glue gun. I would not use glue that dries slow. Um, hot glue is nice because it's strong and it dries very quickly. So, uh, it just makes everything a lot easier. You're also going to need uh, multiple pencils just to mark things. You're going to want to have a ruler and a yardstick. Of course, these are optional, but uh, they're definitely useful. You're also going to want to have a notepad like the one that I have here for drawing things out and uh, just planning things or just taking notes or doing math or anything. You're also uh, going to need to have a hard surface, uh, something like this maybe if your house is smaller or if you're uh, making a bigger house, you're going to want to at least start it off on a flat hard floor like a concrete floor. And we'll talk about that more in the next episode where we make the foundation. And then another optional thing you might want to have is sandpaper for uh, just sanding things down. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is think of an idea, obviously. Um, now if this is the first time you've ever built um, any kind of model, uh, you're obviously going to want to keep it simple. Don't do a lot of crazy um, things. Um, just keep kind of a simple house. That's what we'll be building, just a very simple A-frame little rectangular house with a porch. Um, and so now you don't need to be good at math to make a... Uh, blueprint here. I'm going to show you just how simple it is. And this is kind of my own little way I came up with doing this. Um, so you're going to want to get yourself some graph paper, just like this graph paper that I have here. Um, don't make it too big. I mean, don't don't get a graph paper with boxes too big. Um, if your house is too big um, to fit on the paper, um, you'll see why I say that in a second. Um, you might want to tape pieces of paper together or just make your scale smaller. But, um, so, so basically just obviously draw, just, you know, a rough drawing. Um, first, before we do anything with measurements, anything with math, just kind of draw out what you want it to look like. Um, I'm going to have mine with, it's going to have a, a roof that goes across the whole thing. It's going to be 12 uh, inches long. And um, for the height, if you actually look at the box, the height is going to be one popsicle stick high, which is four and a half inches. So that's definitely something we need to know. So, um, you know, I just made up that 12. I didn't get that from anything. And then I got that from the box. And then I'm going to have a little corner here. And uh, the door will be in the corner. So, you know, just, just think of things. And <clears throat> Now we're actually going to draw out the measurements on here. So get a new piece of paper, and we're going to be drawing it from above, as if we were looking down at the house. And so my scale, now your scale could be whatever you want, but um, since this is a smaller house, I'm going to make my scale so that um, every two blocks is one inch in real life. Okay? So from there to there, these two blocks would be one inch in real life. And so I want the long wall to be 12 inches long. And so I'm going to count four, or, uh, 24 blocks. And so I already have 12 here. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
Okay, so from here to here, um, in real in real life on this piece of paper, it's 24 blocks. But when we actually build the house, this is going to be 12 uh, inches here. And then I want this wall coming this way to be 6 inches. Uh, so that's going to be 12 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And so now we have a 6 by 12 wall here. Or not one wall, it's two walls. And um, I'm going to keep the the shape of the house rectangular. So we don't need to count anymore. We can just connect these lines. No, no, so I'm not using a ruler. I should be. So that's just a tip to make it look nice. And so we have a box here, 12 by 6. Now I'm going to take note of that here so I don't forget anything. Now because these are the largest measurements that I'm drawing, I'm going to be I'm going to be drawing that this is 12 inches and that this is 6 inches. And so that's the entire length of the wall. So we're going to go as far away from the wall as we can or not as far as you can, but get kind of far away from the wall and draw an arrow here. Okay, and an arrow here. And then we're going to draw lines connecting. And then leave a gap in the middle. And write 12 inches. And so that's showing that from this point to this point, it's 12 inches. And now make sure you've left room in here because we're going to be drawing more of these lines um, to show where the windows and everything are. Um, and so I'm going to do the same exact thing right here. Draw an arrow there, an arrow there, that's going to be 6 inches, and then draw your lines. And so now when we actually go to build it, we can look at that, and we'll know exactly how long those are. And you could draw lines if you want, just to so you know that it's from the edge. And now I'm going to work on um, the other walls. This is just kind of the outer shape of the house, um, but that's not exactly how the house is going to be shaped. Um, I'm going to put a little kind of kind of a corner here, um, and I want the corner to come three inches up from the bottom, and so three times two is six, so we're going to count six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put a mark, and then four inches this way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So put a mark, and then I'm just going to connect them. And now, this is three, this is four, and it's drawn to scale because we counted the blocks. All right, so this is better than if you just drew the house and then wrote the measurements on there. This is actually drawn to scale. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these lines again to show that that's three inches. Okay. Can you see that? We've got a three and a three. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. And now I've done the same exact thing on the bottom, showing that from this point to this point, it's eight inches. And from here to here, it's four inches. And so when I look at this plan, I'll know where or I'll know exactly how long that is. All right, so you're going to basically do that for the entire house. Um, I'm going to put a door here. But before we put the door, we need to know how wide the door is going to be. And the reason I say that is because we don't want it to be too skinny or too wide. Because if we were to just draw it on here, it might not look right in real life. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. You're going to take your box of popsicle sticks. You should have the same measurements as me, but in case you don't, just double check. Mine are four and a half inches long, all right? And so each block on this paper is a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to one, two, three, four. That's one inch. One, two. Okay. And so this is a four and a half inch line that I just drew, okay? And <clears throat> so this should be the exact length of a stick if I were to take it out of here. And so, and so we're going to figure out how wide our doors and windows should be. 
Okay, so that's going to be the top of our wall. Then it's going to be the bottom of our wall. And you're looking at this from the side. Okay, so say you want, I'm going to do this in pencil. You want the door eh, to go this high. All right, so it's almost to the top of the wall. And then maybe, maybe that wide. Now those dimensions look good because I didn't measure anything. I just drew it by how I think it should look. So obviously it looks nice because I, I made it look like exactly how I wanted it to look. And so now we're going to get our measurements from this. All right, so how high did I go here? I went one, two, three, four and a half inches because I'm counting up from this line I drew. So four and a half inches is going to be our door height. So just take note of that. I mean, three and a half inches, sorry. Take note of that somewhere. So just write that somewhere, and we'll look at that note later when we're building it. And then how wide is it going to be? One, two, three, four. So that's one inch. Okay, so one and three-fourths. And that's okay. That's good enough. So one and three-fourths is going to be our door width. Okay, so we know that our door is going to be one inch and three quarters of an inch. Okay, and so I want it centered in this wall. And so what I'm going to do is find the center point. So one, two, three, four. Put a mark. One, two, three, four. So right here, this is the center. And so then we're going to take half of this and we're going to go half of it in either direction from the midpoint. And we should end up with the door that's one and three quarters of an inch wide total. So we go a half an inch from each side, we'll be there. And then three quarters, if you cut that in half, uh, it's roughly right there. Okay. So that's roughly where the door is. And then you're gonna just kind of take note of that, just kind of put lines on either side of the door. You could draw that kind of thing to show that there's a door there. But overall here, uh, it doesn't need to be exact on this drawing, but we just know that it's centered in the wall, and you could even write that on center. And then we're going to draw these lines again to show where it is. So what I did is I, I put that it's 2 inches to the center on either side, and then I put myself a note that the door is in the center. And then when we're framing that, we could just... Uh, make the door one inch three quarters wide. So I'm not going to put the measurements from the wall to the edge of the door because that's going to be a weird fraction decimal. And so I'm just going to leave it like that. All right, so now you've got a door in place. I'm not, now I'm going to put a few windows. The windows are the same exact thing as the doors, except it doesn't go down to the ground. So you're going to figure out how big you want the door or the window. I'm just going to make mine just like that. Again, we're just using this page just to kind of see what it's going to look like. And so I think that's good. It's, uh, it's an inch off the ground and an inch from the top, so it's centered vertically. So our window is going to be two and a half inches tall and one and a half inches wide. And so now that we know that it's one and a half inches wide, one and a half inches is three blocks on here. So we're just going to go and draw some windows in. Okay, so now what I did is I just filled in some windows here. I put a window here, 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 and here. They're all the same size window. I could have made a larger window, so like a double window or something, but I just decided to stay up with the same size here. And so now what I'm going to do is make some measurements, just like I did with this door here, just to kind of show where the windows are. So now I have the windows measured and as you'll notice how I did this is I measured to the center of each window. That's how you're going to locate the window by measuring to the center of it. So from this top wall to the center of this window is three inches. So we'll know that when we're marking it on the actual building. We'll mark three inches and then we'll put a line and then we'll know that that's going to be the center of a window. And then if we look here the window is going to be one and a half inches wide, and so then we could put a one and a half inch window centered on that line. 
and so that's how we're going to put the window there. Like I said, we're not measuring to the edge of the window, we're measuring to the center when we draw these measurements. And then as you can see on the front here, I did it's 2 inches from the side, and then 4 inches, and then 2 inches, and again, it's to the center of the windows. And I have all these measurements on here, and all I, I got these measurements by just counting the blocks. 1, 2. 2 blocks is 1 inch. And so that's how I got all the measurements. And now that's basically it. You have the whole house planned out now. Now one thing that you're going to want to uh, take into consideration is the roof. Um, the pitch of the roof. The roof isn't all... If you look at the side of the roof, okay, it's not always a 90 degree angle here. When they make roofs, they make the pitch by rise and run, or rise and run. And so, an, an, a roof with a 90 degree angle here that has 45 degree slants would be a 12 by 12 roof, okay? Because it goes over 12 feet and up 12 feet, over 12 feet, up 12 feet, and that makes a solid 45 degree slope. But we're not going to make ours that high. I'm going to make mine probably 7 by 12. And so I don't know what that's going to look like, so I'm going to draw it on here. So for every 12 that we go over, we're going to go up 7. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And that's to the center of the peak there. So that's going to be our roof slant. I would say that looks pretty good. The roof's not slanting too high. Um, it's going to be kind of a shallow roof. Um, but I think that looks good. And so, yeah. Uh, you could draw an elevation of the house if you want. An elevation looks like this, where it's the front of the house. Or not just the front, but like an actual side of the house. And um, it has measurements on it. So, you know, you could draw your measurements like right here, just like I drew them on there. You really don't need to, especially on a house this simple. Um, but now that we have these measurements here, this is what we're going to be building off of. What well, that is episode one, how to make the floor plan. And in the next episode, we're going to be actually starting the floor. So, uh, yep, check back on that and see ya.